Okay, so what I want to do is I want to give a little video for showing you how to draw the central angles um, of a point. So remember, when we're talking about given points that are not on the unit circle, we have to create a triangle. And that becomes sometimes to a problem because if we're not given the triangle, we have to figure out what the adjacent, the opposite, and the hypotenuse are. So right now, what I'm, I'm given an angle, and that angle provides any point out there, right? So I have this angle, but rather than just having a point on the unit circle, I'm given just a point that's in, um, in the Cartesian coordinate. So how am I going to create an angle? Well, if you remember, when, if you remember the definition of a central angle, the definition of a central angle is going to be an angle with its initial side and its terminal side that is created um, with your, uh, with your um, on the origin of 0, 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a triangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm always going to make that triangle perpendicular. I'm going to make one side perpendicular to the horizontal axis, the x-axis. And then my angle theta that I'm always going to use is going to be a central angle, meaning it's going to be a part of the origin and of my terminal side. So let's go and take a look at, at this point, first of all, to make it kind of easy. So remember, I always need to make a point that's going, or a line that's going to be perpendicular to my horizontal axis. So to continue making a triangle, I'm just going to make a triangle right there. The perpendicular line is going to create my uh, 90 degree angle. Now that I have my 90 degree angle, remember your theta is always going to be your central angle. So therefore, you can know, you can represent now, remember, this is your x and your y coordinate. So therefore, for my triangle, 2 will be my adjacent side, 3 will be my opposite, and then the terminal side is going to represent my hypotenuse. All right? Let's look at the next one. Remember, I have to create a perpendicular line. You can't, this is not creating a perpendicular line with the horizontal axis. That's creating a perpendicular line with the vertical axis. So I create my vertical line. That creates its 90 degrees. My theta or my, is always going to be my central angle. So therefore, at this point, I have my x and my y. So this is negative 4. This is negative 3. And there's your hypotenuse. For this triangle, I create this perpendicular line. Here's my 90 degree angle. My x represents there. Here's my 5 and my hypotenuse. Lastly, let's do this one. Remember, just create a perpendicular line with your horizontal axis. That's going to create your 90 degree angle. Then your central angle is always going to be your theta. From there, you can always determine that's going to be 4, negative 3, and your hypotenuse. So that, ladies and gentlemen, when given any point, how you can determine your um, triangle so that you can finish off the rest of your functions. Thanks. Help? Yeah. Okay. Perfect.